Hello everybody, Cyan Link here. Long awaited knife review. Finally got these things tested up enough. And uh, these are reviews of some Emerson knives. Emerson, I guess, is not one of the most famous companies, but they do claim to be famous in the worst places. Um, little background, Ernest Emerson, a lot of people think he's uh, prior service. According to what I found, he's actually not. He's just um, studies, knife making, martial arts, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Seems to be a really cool dude. Um, I ran into these knives because I had a, a friend who lives here in the barracks. Actually, uh, his father knows him personally. Excuse any difficulties. I just got some new camera equipment that I'm still working with. Um, so, these are the Super CQC8, larger version, and the CQC13 with a Bowie style blade. Um, Emerson Company is a little bit tight-lipped about what actually goes into their knives, so I can't give specs too well. But on the CQ, Super CQC8, we have about, I want to say, a four and a half inch blade that handles. This looks like um, GRN, uh, nice thick liners, and I'm going to assume by their rust resistance R420J, pretty standard. Locking liner on both and Emerson's patented wave feature. In the opening of the video, I showed you what the wave feature can do. Very similar to what I have on uh, my Cold Steel AK-47, which is one of my favorites, you guys know. And these are really good. Um, ergonomics are great. As you saw, one problem I have with the AK-47 is it's a little short, so it's kind of hard to get down there. You saw in the beginning that I was able to just get a nice, solid grip straight out of pulling out my pocket no problem whatsoever um, so that yeah uh, this though if we look at the wave features the wave features if I come in a little bit get the light right these hooks right here as you can see the one on the CQC8 is a little bit bigger I have trouble getting this one to do the wave feature opening that is the 13 to do the wave feature opening sometimes because that hook is a little bit too small uh, a bit of a problem with that, so I do usually carry my Super CQC-8, and I do have plans on getting his uh, Commander, which is one of his most favorite, uh, famous knives. Um, my biggest issue with the Everson Company is what they charge for their knives. The CQC-13 over here comes in at. $252.95 and the Super CQC8 comes in at $307.95. Now I've said these knives are good. I don't really think they're $300 good. Usually when most of the two biggest things on a knife are the materials, you got some great stuff here. I don't know, I haven't been able to find out what the steel is in these, but it is very solid. These have hold, held their edge very well. I haven't had to sharpen them yet and they're still rock solid sharp so I'm thinking possibly all eight something along those lines I don't think it doesn't feel like uh, S30V or uh, anything like that 154 CM it just it just doesn't um, okay one thing I like and one thing I don't like You'll notice if you look close that these screws in here are actual Phillips head and the main bolt right here, pivot bolt, is a flat head. I really like that. I want to see more of that. I have too many of my knives that have some kind of Allen wrench set up so I went and bought a set of Allen wrenches only to find out that no, these are the spline drive type. It's some kind of goofy ass bullshit. I like this because if I do need to take it apart, I do need to clean the inside, clean off the liners, whatever I want to do, or just tighten it, I can just use my Gerber. I don't need to carry around a special set of uh, fucking hex key screws or whatever. So I, I want to see more of that. One thing I don't like, you'll notice that it doesn't have the ability to switch over to left handed carry. They actually want to charge an extra $25 for that, and uh, that's just fucking ridiculous. I mean, you're already charging 300 bucks for some of your products. Uh, just, just put the fucking holes in. I mean, seriously, uh, that's that's ridiculous. I got pretty pissed off, as you can tell, when I read that. The other one, you can you can customize these. The, um, the screw-on 
thumb stud opener, which is uh, really cool. I like the design. Uh, they have the option where you can replace that with the bottom of a 45 round, just like the very bottom of the casing where the primer goes. And uh, that's pretty cool. You can replace this pivot head, or really the back of it, this bolt part, with like a skull or this awesome looking shield. Really cool. But once again, they want to charge 70 bucks for the bottom of a 45 and 170 for the little things. I mean, yeah, granted, they're like, I, I think they are sterling silver, but it's a small little thing. I don't, I don't think it's 170s worth. So, dude really needs to cut down his price is, is my biggest problem. I, I mean, the other thing I said that, you know, what goes into a knife, the materials can sometimes go into a price. Like if you want to get something fancy that has like, aerospace grade titanium liners and carbon fiber handles and S35 VN steel. Yeah, you're going, to, you're going to pay some fucking money for that. The other one is apparently name brand. Like, I, I've had this problem with SOG. I've had this problem to some degree with Benchmade. But the biggest offender, in my opinion, has got to be Emerson. And that's, that's kind of not cool, dude. i got to be honest. That's kind of not cool. I think he needs to do adjust his price. And uh, future... CQC 13 models, you need to like keep this hook. The hook on the Super CQE8 work, CQC8 works. This one, I have some issues getting it to open all the time. So that's not good. That's the primary purpose I spent that much money on this. Um, not much else. So you got a decent size lanyard hole. It could be a little bit bigger. I don't know if I could get ungutted 550 cord through that easily. Um, I want to say that's about it. I mean, the knives look cool. They have the name brand. They have they have the look certainly of a nice tactical knife, and they are strong. They are strong, but my AK-47 is just as strong, if not stronger, according to some of the tests I've seen. And it costs a third of what this CQC-8 does. So really, I'm going to say. Try to haggle, try to find a, a used one, try to go on Blade HQ or something and see if you can find it cheaper because I, I cannot justify $300 price tag for this, especially when he's going to do that just outright bullshit with the jewelry. I mean, regardless of all my nagging, this is still a great knife and I'm probably going to take my CQC8 to Afghanistan because it really is pretty solid. That should be about it. I'm Cyan Link. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.